and our latest latest one batch eight um, has actually been used with a wild yeast um, out of the Rangitiki uh, area the region um, wow, so guys cool. at, at Froth Tech made a um, yeah found one I think they've been working for years to find one that was actually viable as a brewing yeast um, so I, I had to jump at the chance to to use it um, so maybe one day I'll send that one down to you guys for try as well Love to try it. <laughs> See, and I think these are conversations that not enough people are having because people will talk about playing around with different grains and um, you know different levels of malting and all of those kinds of things. Not enough people are talking about different types of yeast. How the yeast most, I mean, most of the time it's a, um, a production level issue, like how much alcohol can we create, and we we want uh, yeah, the yeast yeah. that's going to give us the highest yield. Yeah. And I mean, internationally, there are heaps of different yeasts. And again, people are usually focusing on a few strains. But now to hear that there are uniquely New Zealand yeasts, wild yeasts that we're using to try and create. This is, yeah, it's another wanna, conversation yeah. for another day, but I am... I want to try that. Now. Yeah, that sounds <laughs> fascinating. Mm. 